Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I have lots of happy mail to show you guys and I also will be organizing my binders, adding a new one, rearranging some of my envelopes. So I'm very excited for this video and I hope you are too. I have a lot of packages from amazing people. So thank you all so much to everyone who has sent me a package. This was all gifted to me. So I appreciate that so much. I'm so excited to show you guys. So let's go right ahead and start with this first one it's a card actually and this one was super sweet to open because on the back it has like a kid wrote their name on it and it said max wanted to sign the card lol so that was so cute her son wanted to do that but this is from dexter and she watches my videos and also is a customer so I appreciate that so much and I thought it was super nice of her to send me some happy mail. I love these butterflies. I think it's so cute. So when I opened this, I was like, what? This is a $2 bill, but it's also a star note, which I don't have a $2 bill and I can't believe she sent this to me. So this was super thoughtful. She said, hi Aya, I was organizing my son's wallet he's six and saw this two dollar star note the star tracker in your envelope is so cute but the two dollar column is empty and it deserves a yellow star too i love your content and etsy shop and i hope this brightens your day sincerely dexter yes it definitely did brighten my day i absolutely love this so thank you so so much for sending this to me i will be adding it into my binder here soon but let's go ahead and open up the rest of my happy mail so this next package is from caitlin plans life who has sent me a previous package before and this is a package i did not know i was receiving so it was a super nice surprise and she added a little note she said aya i hope japan was wonderful to you i included some placeholders to go with your big savings goals these are my redesigned ones Aww. That's super sweet. So, super cute packaging. I will have everybody and their shops linked down below. So you guys can check them all out. So, we have some super cute freebie items. So, this super tiny binder clip. I love that. That's so cute. I'm going to put it right there. Also have some pretty stickers. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a Japanese um, like word and what it means. Oh my gosh. That's really nice. I love it. And it's super good quality. It's like laminated. I love the neutral background, the neutral font. I am going to put this in my binder. That is so sweet. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Here's her card. I will have her. Oh, that's so pretty. I will have her um, linked down below. Oh my gosh. Love these placeholders so far. Okay, so we have a 100, 300, these are laminated, 500, 1,000, oh, I got a 2,000, that's awesome, 5,000, 10,000, 30,000, oh my goodness, 20,000, 25,000 and 15,000. That is so thoughtful. I'm manifesting all of those. So I really, really like these. These are so cute. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for sending these to me. I will definitely be using them. So I have a lot of placeholders now. So hopefully I can like use all of my placeholders because uh, my collection is starting to grow. So thank you so much, Caitlin, for all of these. I absolutely love them. All right, next is a package from Upscale Currency. And look at how beautifully packaged this is. I don't even want to open it because it's so pretty. This is very, very well done, I will say. I don't even want to touch it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's a note. Aya, I hope you love these saving goodies. I love your videos and aesthetic content. Keep reaching your goals and happy saving. That is so nice. I love that. Let's see what she packed for me. And we did kind of talk about this because 
will show you one of the things I got. I wanted like certain things on it, so. Okay, oh my gosh, this is too cute. <gasps> I don't even wanna undo that. Oh, it has her little, um, like a QR code. Oh, that's cute. I love this. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I don't even want to like touch that. So here's a mini saving challenge for $50. Super cute. Okay. Ah, yay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got some more placeholders. So these are super pretty. They're like matte vellum, $500, $1,000. Five thousand, and then these are like the white ones, five hundred, one thousand, and five thousand. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these. So pretty and great quality. Okay, these are what I was talking about. So, oh my gosh, I love this. I was actually looking for these like bookmark tabs around Etsy, and I didn't really know who sold them. And then she reached out to me wanting to send me this Happy Meal. And then I saw that she had these. And I was like, I was literally just looking for those. So these are the category or the labels that I wanted. So I will be putting these in my binders. These are so cute. I'm so excited for these. I might to just order more if I like want more um, labels. So yeah, we'll see how it goes with my envelopes and stuff. But these are laminated, super great quality. So I have high priority business savings and low priority then she uh, sent me some cash trackers which always need some of these these are super simple and easy to use i love them so thank you so much i will be using that a no spend tracker oh we'll see how how good i can do with this this is so cute i love that oh this is pretty so oh it's an envelope three Oh my goodness three saving challenges in here and they're all so pretty so they're like this satin silk sheet background oh my gosh they're all for 150 dollars, which is a very good amount for my budget so i appreciate that cannot wait to add this into my savings binder oh my gosh i love that okay then oh we have an emergency fund for a thousand dollars these are reusable too by the way and i love that she included some envelopes that is really thoughtful so thank you so much for sending this to me i cannot wait to use your products and yeah i definitely recommend her shop you guys so go check her out oh my gosh the envelopes are super cute too so let's put all of this to the side because i will be using some of those Next is a package from Elaine Budgets, and I'm going to go ahead and put it like this. So I already opened it. Package is super, super pretty. I absolutely love it. And I was able to take a peek at this without ripping her pretty sticker. So, okay. I'm very excited for this. So she sent me a binder. I'm so, so excited about this. So the texture is the same as my other ones and I think the color is gonna look so good with all my other binders. She said like I have a lot of neutrals and she wanted to like add a pop of color to my setup, which I'm totally here for. So I literally absolutely love this. It's not like a pink or red, it's kind of like a mauve color or like, I don't even know how to describe it, but oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Here it is, absolutely gorgeous. Here's what the inside looks like. I love this. So I cannot wait to add this to my setup. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Here's her card. And then let's open up. I love those cherry blossom stickers. gosh we have a lot of cute items here this butterfly paper clip is literally the cutest thing ever love that oh and this paper clip's super pretty too got some stickers oh some like japanese stickers these are really cute 
I love that. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for these. Literally, I love those so much. Oh my gosh, we have a lot going on. Okay, mini savings challenge. These are laminated, reusable for $220. So that, again, is a good amount for my budget. Breaking bad habit saving challenge. So you can make each icon worth whatever you want. And then a mini savings for $140. So I like that these two are different. Um, this one's cute. Breaking bad habit. Yeah, we all need that, I feel like, in some way. Okay, next. Oh, this is so cute. So you can make each icon worth whatever you want. Uh, a self. I don't have a self-care one, so that's cute. How original is that? I love that. It's so cute. I love these trackers, and they seem like they're super good quality, too. So looks like we have some placeholders. Oh, these are nice. They feel like kind of, they feel good. I like these. So we have 500, 1,000, 1,500. That's a good one. 2,000, 2,500, 5,000. Oh, 10K. I like how it says just 10K. And a fully funded. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. I love the font. These are really gorgeous. I love the detailing right here. Thank you so much, Elaine. I love these so, so much. Definitely go check out her Etsy shop, you guys. She is super sweet. And this binder, oh my gosh, such a pretty color. I will show it with like all my binders here in a minute. But thank you so much for these. I cannot wait to add these. I really love the feel of these. So definitely recommend. Okay, last package, last but not least, is from Simple Dollar Co. So I will have her linked absolutely love her stickers so cute i have not really opened this i just like took a peek inside like this but oh my gosh everything is so cute so let me put this to the side okay and here is a super sweet note from her she says aya thank you so much for the love and support especially when i first started my account i've been following you for a long time and i just love how you support other small businesses even though you have your own you are definitely inspiring to this community here are the envelopes and some other goodies i tossed in to show my appreciation enjoy thanks again from cassie thank you so much i love this so much super sweet so let's grab everything and guys i was very surprised to get this like what i was not expecting this at all and before i got these two binders from these amazing ladies i was like i my personal binder is getting so full i need to like organize it somehow and um yeah and then i got some binders so i'm super appreciative so thank you guys so so much i'll open this first it's a pebbled texture and it's black and it has gold hardware and it is gorgeous i love this thank you thank you so much for sending this to me i was hoping this wouldn't happen i was doing so good okay there we go oh my gosh i'm so excited to add this to my collection I love it. Thank you so much. Let's start off with this. It's a 2K saving challenge. Look how small it is. That's so cute. Okay, and these are, oh, I love the feel of these too. It's like the same as those placeholders. 2K saving challenge. <gasps> Table of contents part one. So there's 12 parts and each part is like, yeah, it's less than $200 or it is $200, which is great for my budget section one so you can check off mark off each time you save that amount of money so this would be like weekly if you do bi-weekly if you get paid bi-weekly you could do like two at a time and it's just all the different sections <gasps> that is really cute this is really cool i love that okay oh my gosh i forgot about this <laughs> okay a7 envelopes for my wallet that is so cute love her sticker These are too cute. Okay, oh my gosh, I love the peekaboo. I absolutely love it. So here is the first one, receipts. 
Oh, kindness. Eating out. Groceries. Miscellaneous. Household. Personal. And coffee. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I love these. I cannot wait to use them. They feel like, oh, yeah. The inside that's really good that is a good quality envelope oh my gosh i'm so excited that's awesome i cannot wait to use those um here we have a 500 dollars saving challenge which i love um that's a good number i feel like um i'm currently doing one right now to pay myself back and this is reusable so thank you so so much for this tracker now i feel like this is all the extra stuff that i have no idea what it is Okay, oh, we have an envelope for home. Super cute, love the quality, love the font. One for groceries. Super cute. So here's like the difference between the white and the matte vellum. One for personal. Can never have too many envelopes, I feel like. I just love having them. $100, oh, it's a scratch off, $100 saving challenge, that's cute, $150, $200, oh, I love it, oh my gosh, what is this, oh, this is an interesting envelope, oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. So the holes are on this side. Obviously, you put it in the envelope like this, and then you put the money and stuff in that way instead of this way. And it's plastic, and it's purple. I love the color. This is really cool. Emergency fund saving challenge. Laminated, reusable with some cute little piggy banks on it. Oh my gosh, and you can still kind of see inside. I love this. I've never seen anything like this, so I love that. Oh, these are pretty. They're pink. One for spending. Oh, the quality is really nice. Oh, and one for coffee. I love that. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I'm so surprised. Thank you so, so much, Cassie, for sending me these. I literally love everything. Go check out her shop because um, she has some amazing items. So those were all the packages that I received. And so now I'm going to be using some of these items and organizing my binders. Okay, first let's start off with my wallet. So I have these envelopes from Crafted by Coco that I absolutely love. But we are going to start using these envelopes right here and maybe those, but I'm not sure yet. These rings are pretty small. So I don't want to do too much. Okay, so receipts is going in the back. These are like kind of backwards, so it's perfect for what I'm doing. Kindness, no. Receipts in front of that. Okay, eating out. Groceries. Miscellaneous will go behind eating out. And then household. personal coffee in the front okay so I have coffee groceries eating out household personal miscellaneous receipts and kindness and I have the I already have groceries and personal home that one's cute maybe I'm not gonna put that one in yet so these are gonna go to the side and then I'm gonna put my money in here so coffee that's so cute i love the peekaboo groceries so my spending is now called eating out and then i had nothing in households i have a gift card for personal And then nothing in receipts or miscellaneous. So I'm going to set all of these envelopes to the side. 
Okay, so that is my wallet now. So cute, I love that. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay, so my wallet is good to go. Next, let's put my $2 star note in my binder and grab my highlighter. Okay, star notes. Okay, here's my tracker, my first $2 star note. I feel like that's so rare, but maybe not. I love that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Dexter, for sending me that. Two. I feel like this deserves its own envelope. Maybe at another time. Okay, so I'm gonna add that in here to my star note collection. Okay, so that is good for my star notes. Let's go to my savings binder because I have a few things that I wanna add in here. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I love this envelope. So let's grab all my saving challenges. I have this mini one from um, Upscale Currency. I have, I need to keep these here. Um, here's an emergency set. Okay, so all of these. Then from Elaine Budgets, I have these, cause these could go like somewhere else. And then from Simple Dollar Co. I have these amazing scratch offs. And then I have this super cute 2K saving challenge, which I'm not sure where I wanna put that yet. Okay, so here's what we have to work with. So I have a $500 saving challenge, honestly. This is mine, but it's my old design, so I might switch this out for this one. Uh oh that's cute and then I'll just have to update the tracker later like add all the ones I filled in I have 50 70 80 dollars yeah I could do that so I'll do that later so I'll add that one in here next roll the dice that's staying the same mini savings that's staying the same and then I have these just to store them in here from Jasmine's wallet then I have my one dollar five dollar ten dollar challenges so let's go ahead and add this is too cute so for my savings binder I did want to include this is my bills binder I did want to add these three envelopes so I have it divided here so I have savings emergency and month ahead and I wanted to add those to my savings but I'm not so sure yet I mean I don't know it was just a thought but these are savings challenges so that's why I kind of want to keep them separated yeah I'm gonna keep them separated because I'm going to take out this and then add my new savings tab. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, I that is so cute. Okay, so all of these are my bills. My bills my bills other envelopes and then you have savings so yeah okay I think that's cute I like that going back to my saving challenge binder emergency so this is where I have an emergency in my bills binder so I'm gonna take this out and maybe put a scratch off in here the 100 let's do 100 first really cute okay I'm gonna go put it behind my roll the dice and my mini savings okay that's cute I have another emergency so these are all going to go my 
other binder and also just to store I might put them somewhere else because I already do have an emergency tracker that I'm using right now but once that's finished I can start on these then I have these extra scratch offs which I could just store and then I wanted to put these somewhere so behind the scratch off I'm gonna put one of these so I do have two envelopes so they're all for 150 so I'm gonna put one of them in here the other one in here and since this one doesn't have an envelope I'm just going to either actually I do have my own plastic zipper envelopes but this is too big to fit in there, which is fine because I can use like these, I can put. So I'm gonna put my extra ones in here. And like this mini savings I'm gonna put in there. And then from Elaine Budgets, I'm gonna put hers in there too, just to store them in there. That's cute. Okay. Actually, since I'm only going to be doing one of these at a time, I'm going to put this one back behind this one. Okay, so that's my savings binder. Cute. Next, let's do my business binder. Okay, so here's my business binder. Honestly, I might change it to the pink one, but this is super small, so I was going to combine something else with it since I have the tab. I'm going to put something else with the tab, maybe. So I kind of need to play around with this and see what I want to do exactly, but I do need to split up my personal binder. I'm gonna do that last because it's really big. So I'm gonna move on to, we're gonna set business to the side because we're coming back to that. I'm gonna move on to my sinking funds. So this is the binder where I'm gonna be rearranging some envelopes because I have a high priority and a low priority little tab that I wanna use. So I'm gonna put the dashboard here. High priority is gonna go first. So these are the envelopes that I am currently wanting to stuff and currently working on it's going to change based on my finances and my situations and it's super easy to do because i could just open the binder and rearrange my envelopes so medical is important but it's not a priority so it's going to go in low dental is high right now i'll put car maintenance in high car registration is low because well maybe i'll put it in high because we need to save up for that by the end of the year Pet emergency is low right now. Same with vet visits. Christmas high, holidays low, travel is high. Logan's aunt is getting married in November in Kentucky, which is a five hour drive from us and we might need to possibly stay somewhere. So that is high. The beach is low. I'm gonna put Japan in high priority. I just came back and so I won't be going soon, maybe next year or the year after or I don't know, but I'm still going to put it in high because I want to continue to save up for it um, when I can. Road trips is low. Disney, I don't even, I don't want this envelope anymore. I don't plan on going to Disney. I feel like if I do, it'll just go in my travel envelope. I'm just trying to condense some envelopes. So I'm just going to put this to the side. Travel buffer is low. Passport is high because going along with this, Logan needs his passport anniversary we'll do high because i do want to prioritize that wedding right now is low black friday low house low new car low and future i have barely used this envelope and i don't really know what to use it for just future savings but i already have a savings envelope so i'm not really sure what to do with this so it's going into low so for my high priority let's organize this by what I want to come first. Um, Japan, 
travel, Christmas, dental, okay, I think I want it like this, okay, so those are all in there, next is low, future is going in the back, then new car, then house, then Black Friday, and then holidays. Actually, because Thanksgiving I did with my sister, like um, we made and brought a whole bunch of stuff to her apartment. It was just me and Logan and her and her boyfriend, which was super fun, like a little Friendsgiving. So I didn't want to pull that money from my grocery budget, so I put it in here. Um, so maybe I'll put it before the beach. Road trips. Travel buffer. Wedding. Vet visits. Pet emergency and medical. Okay, so, yeah. Wait. That's how I want it. So here's my new, I mean, not too new, but my tabs. So cute, I love it. So these are all my high priority envelopes, low priority in the back. Yay. Okay, so that's good for that binder. Next is my personal binder. Okay, to be honest with you, I think this sinking funds binder is going to be moved to this black one because I want to have like two personal binders because this one's so full it needs to be moved to another binder and I want the textures to match so these are the same so then my sinking funds will go in this one so I should have done that when I was putting the envelopes in here I just didn't think of it so let's do that really quickly. Okay, so I moved everything over. Literally love this. I can get my charm, okay. Super cute. I love this binder. The texture is so nice. So this binder will have like the other part of my personal envelopes in it. So I'm keeping this the same. Oh, I need a new dashboard too. So all of my fun stuff like this is like a Lucky Charm technically, it's a fake bill. It's to bring you more money. I just like looking at it. So all of the fun stuff like this will probably go here. So this is my birthday one. Also maybe like these saving challenge type ones will go in the other one. But it's still kind of thick. So like my star notes will go in here. And same with my yen. But see that only frees up like it's still pretty full. Well, not as much as before. I'm going to move some of my longer term C 
sinking funds into here. So for example, graduation photos is not gonna be used for another like two years. So that's like a sinking fund. School, I don't pull out of this often. It's only for like textbooks and stuff and like school supplies. Classroom is for my future classroom. So I'm probably gonna move it back here. Um, Target and Amazon can stay. So can electronics and haircuts. And shoes, beauty, books, Logan, budgeting, planning. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. I think that's better. And so now, yeah, that feels way better. So that one's good. Now this one is all of my, like, fun, fun stuff stuff and I could honestly put my business envelopes in here too which is what I wanted to do um because I don't have much in here so let's take out this and add the little um divider tab okay taxes I'm going to get rid of this miscellaneous because I never use it. And now, okay. I hate these zipper envelopes though. They just stick out of these binders and I don't like how it looks. Maybe I could move. Well, because sometimes I have a lot of money in here, but I did do a condensing. So um, honestly, here's my thought. So. And I don't know why I haven't done this before. So, like, Katie from the Fancy Dollar, every time, like, when she does her cash stuffing, she'll have, like, prop money, too, and stuff that. Because that uh, prop money represents money in the bank. And so, she'll do that and also have, like, real cash, too. But, like, whenever I need to put money back in the bank for, like, taxes, I just take it out anyway, like, not thinking. And then I have to take it back or condense when I could literally just put prop money. So, yeah, I don't know why I haven't been doing that. So Nari from the Rich Broke Mom sent me a taxes like card to put into a plastic envelope, but also a matte vellum envelope. So if I use that, then I don't have to use the zippered envelope and it shouldn't get too full because I won't be stuffing cash in it. I will just be putting the placeholders in there and leaving it in the bank. So that frees up another one of these zipper envelopes. And so the only zipper envelope I have is for my yen, which I am expecting something for this. So this will be changing soon. So I'm not worried about that. And then my star notes, I'm going to, maybe not right now because I don't have enough envelopes for it. I don't want the plastic envelope anymore. So somebody said since like my collection is getting so big to have one envelope for each denomination which I like that idea and I think I'm gonna do it. I just don't have like any matte vellum envelopes or enough like PVC envelopes to use. Because in here, this is where I store like my extra stuff. I do have these plastic ones, but I'm storing other things in there. When I figure that out, like get different envelopes for that then I will switch that over and then this one will be taken care of so that's good so yeah that's super cute I just need to add a dashboard so I really love this luxury one from Lux Designs but I do have this little card from Caitlin Plans Life I could put it there I just really like how I've been layering my dashboards and little journaling cards because journaling cards don't really fit on this side so I like to have them on my dashboards so I just don't know if I want to put it on the maybe on the back but I want to be able to read it all I don't know if I like how that looks but for now I'm gonna keep it because I really really want to use this I just feel like I need a different background for it So yeah, we'll see. 
but at least I can still see it and read it. So I'm gonna be figuring this out. That's not gonna stay like that forever. So yeah, but that is my like personal binder kind of split up, which really helps this one. And also uh, my business envelopes are in there too. Okay, cool. Okay, so next I do have this budget from, or this binder from Elaine Budgets, which I really do wanna add to my binders here because like that's just like the cutest pop of color I feel like and I will be using this I absolutely have to so I have to figure that out oh I also have this this one which this one's a different texture I love it it still goes good with my other binders but yeah I need to figure that out but I think for right now I don't want to make this video too long I think for right now this is what I'm gonna do I love everything that I received from all of my amazing friends. So thank you guys so, so much. Be sure to check out their shops. I will have them linked down below in the description box, but that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.